Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalo C and I'm here with another new retesting tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to achieve an elegant race skin tone in Photoshop and this is a very easy tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, at first uh, I want to start with the gradient map so create a gradient map here. That's it, but it's looking like a horror movie tone, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Okay, now come into the layer panel and look at this. Right now, the mask is selected, okay? You have to select the gradient icon, this one, not the mask. This is the first step and it is very, very important. Okay, now come back to the gradient option. This is your gradient bar. Click on this and you will find all the option of gradient okay okay uh, before it hide the layer this is not looking good so hide it now click on the bar and you will find all the option of ah uh, now find all the option of gradient okay now this point this point is for the darker area of your skin right and then the right one this one is for the brighter area of your skin so the left one is for the darker area and the right point is for the bright part of your skin okay now you can double click on this icon then you will find the color picker option or you can select this icon and here is the color option you can just click here and you will find the color picker option okay i said the right one uh yeah i said the left one uh, for the darker area so look at the picture and define the darker area of your picture i think this one uh, this part and this part is uh, darker for this picture dark area okay now press ok now select the right one and i think this area is bright for this picture okay that's fine okay now just click on the mid region to create another point and this one is for mid term okay double click on the icon and uh, select the mid term like this Okay, I think I think this area is representing uh, the mid tone. I think that's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna create another point here between the dark area and the mid tone area. Okay, Oops, double click on the icon and uh, uh, find uh, the area lies between the dark and mid tone okay this is too bright okay between the dark and mid -term. between the dark and mid -term. i think yeah this area i think this area is my target area okay now press ok and look at this bar it's looking it's looking really smooth okay so now press ok okay now just active the gradient layer and it's looking very bad don't worry uh, change the blending mode to multiply but it's too much you know the rules just decrease the opacity around 40 to 45 or 50 percent and look at this let's zoom out and see this was the before and this is after if you think it's too much then decrease again to 40 percent i think i think this is fine but again there is one problem yeah the gradient map is now applied on the whole image okay but we want this only on the skin so now select the mask here press command and i to inverse the mask now look at this the mask is black that means 
the gradient map is hidden under the black color so to bring back uh, to bring back the gradient map you need to just paint with the white brush so select the foreground color white press b to select the brush and opacity 100 percent flow 100 percent and soft hardness zero percent and now just paint on your skin like this oops avoid the eye take your time and just paint okay press and hold option or alt key and click on the mask and look at this this will help you uh, to find out the painted area these are two eyes <laughs> okay press and hold option key or alt key and click on the mask again to bring back now look at this this was the before and this is after look at the skin this was the before and this is after it's re really looking good I can decrease the opacity more around 35% and I'm happy with it that's fine now another one another tricks to make it more beautiful I can add some shine there okay that's very easy that's very very easy that's why i'm showing it showing you it in here okay just create a curves and like this press command and i to inverse and then soft brush again pick a soft brush again and paint with a white color paint on the bright area it's not paint just create some line like this that's very very easy okay that's good I think it's fine now double click on the mask and there is two option density and feather forget about the density just uh, increase the feather value gone okay i think it's fine i think this is fine look at the shine look at this this is the before and this is after I think this is fine you can always decrease the opacity from here uh, but I think it's fine so let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after I think it's looking I think it's looking really good and beautiful so that's it hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe